Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Krosama. And here we have today is finally a review on the SH Monster Arts King Ghidorah 2019 from Godzilla King of the Monsters. Man, this is a really, really cool figure. Um, it does have a lot of shortfalls, unfortunately, but you know what? All the pros is just right here in front of you. A giant King Ghidorah with some pretty decent posability in where it matters. Um, but, you know, we're gonna talk about the wingspan, uh, just kinda like how it's not imposable and just some other issues that it is, it is gonna have. But regardless, I definitely want to talk more about the details of this thing, cause there are quite a bit of detailing. Uh, but let's go ahead and just jump into the details. So the first thing we take a look at is the head sculpt. Man, this is a beautifully sculpted head for the SH Monster Arts line. Um, I mean, for the most part, they do a really good job, but this one in particular, I think, just looks really good. Um, the only problem I'm kind of having every once in a while is, uh, you know, trying to get this mouth straightened. Uh, sometimes it just kind of does that, but if you kind of just wiggle around, you get, you know, nice and straight. But open it up, you are going to have uh, some tongue action which is pretty cool so I'll, I'll you know have that a part of the articulation as well uh but you are gonna have some nicely sculpted inner like mouth area uh the teeth are you know nicely sculpted as well as the inside of the jaws uh but for the most part everything on the head is just it's just beautiful i love like the scaling on it perfect so we'll take a look at the wing the wing is really nice it's actually a hard plastic so you know not really much in terms of articulation, uh, but the shading on here is going to look really good. I just, I love this. I mean, you just really have that good texture on these SH Monster Arts figures, and that's kind of what really, you know, draws me into these versus the NECA. I mean, if you want a cheap, like, $20 NECA figure, I mean, the Godzilla line is not bad whatsoever for, like, $20-something dollars. Um, but overall, for the King Ghidorah, I mean, I paid about 130 for this, and man, oh man, this is uh, definitely worth every dollar and just the painting and sculpting alone. But yeah, the wings, they look really damn good with all this like scales and such. And it ha you can like feel the like little, the scaling on here. So that's pretty damn cool. So looking down on the legs, I'm um, really just going to have more scaling on here. Uh, kind of further down with the wingspan, you're going to have more shading, uh, which really isn't a bad thing. But the overall body is going to look pretty good. Just more shading here on the knees. You got some shading right there. Um, I mean, it just it looks really good. Uh, now, this is one problem I've been encountering is that this ball joint right here for the leg, uh, it really is not a tight fit. So you're gonna have to like maybe apply some uh, nail polish or some glue onto that joint and then pop that leg in and hopefully that stays in a little bit more uh, firm. But yeah, regardless, I mean, this is still really, really good design overall. Hey, we'll take a look on the back as well as uh, a little bit on the back of the neck. You're gonna have all these little spikes just kind of flowing down on the back side. Uh, just nice shading right here on the spine area. And then just kind of, I would say like hints of muscle, like um, like like the thickness of the muscle on the back. So kind of, I guess the lats, I don't know what you would kind of consider the anatomy of uh, of this beast but yeah I mean the all these back muscles you could really see the kind of indentions right on long here um, just kind of leading all the way down to the tails now we're looking at the tail you are going to have a lot of sharp bits here so be careful whenever you're handling this uh, overall though it's it's really nice I just I love this tail design all these kind of irregular like spikes that are just coming out and protruding uh, definitely a really awesome weapon by himself so you don't really need as much of like the heads you know you could just use the tails and uh, these can definitely perform some pretty good actions alone so with the details out of the way let's take a look at the articulation now I'm just gonna start right here on the wing because well there's not much of articulation you are going to have like a little bit of movement which is pretty loud and squeaky uh, but the thing is these come off and you're gonna have this giant empty hole right here where these actually plug into so if you're gonna want to have these like on the ground as if he you know he was crawling much like in the actual movie you can still kind of like put them in there if you can there we go so you can kind of do that and plug it in and he can still kind of like move around but then you're gonna have that giant empty hole 
in the side of them so that's not going to look really good uh so unfortunately yeah that that really does suck but just plug that in and you're gonna plug this part in as well um i mean you can still move it pretty much up and down but like i said you, you got to be weary of like how you're gonna like pose it because this gaping hole might just be showing and it's just it's not gonna look attractive now these wings are going to be supported with this, you know, basic stand. Uh, just clips right here on the the side of the wing. It's not really too firm. I, I like I feel like these stands are doing barely anything to be honest. Like it's really just holding up the weight. But I still have a lot of uh, weight issues with these wings, so y you're going to be messing around with this quite a bit. I mean, once you get into that sweet spot, it it's going to be fine. Uh, but overall, I mean, there really are not that great of stands. Maybe you can try like you know do some on your own, make you know try and make your own stands. Uh, but yeah, these are not going to be super. Um, I don't know. I would say super useful. Okay, now the articulation in the head, uh, you obviously are going to have the tongue and the mouth go up and down. Now, you're just going to have a lot of ball joints, like every single one of these is a individual ball joint. So what that allows you to do is just really put it in different type of positions, so that way it can you know mimic something of like, you know, a snake or something like that. Uh, I mean, it's really nice. You're going to have plenty of articulation to move around with. If you want to go super low and then, you know, have a wrap around, you could do that. You know, however you are wanting to do it, it's, I mean, the posability is outstanding on these. Uh, so the base is going to have it. You're going to have each different one on the neck. And then, like, at the end of the neck joint, I mean, this is going to be able to go around quite a bit as well. And if you really want to just, like, take them off, I mean, they can pop off if you just kind of work it so if you do want you know a, a more accurate representation of the movie when godzilla did fight king Ghidorah, uh you could definitely take the head off and you know do whatever or if you want to pop it off anywhere in here you can do that as well so looking at the legs uh it is going to come with a base stand that just kind of supports more of the uh, the base of the unit you know, it, it, it kind of helps, but at the same time, I've been able to kind of like just not have it and it can still be stable, but you know, just use it if you do, um, you know, if, if, if having this appear underneath it does not bother you. Uh, now you are gonna have a ball joint right here on the hip. You're gonna have ball joint here at the knee, which I mean, it goes out fairly decently far. Uh, and then obviously here, this ball joint on this particular ankle it just, it's not firm. And uh, I'm gonna fix it up after this review just to make sure I can um, I can have a, a pretty sturdy King Ghidorah on my shelf because I don't want this thing falling over or anything. So a lot of things are going to be uh, tightened up with some glue as well as maybe just some, uh, some nail polish. Okay, now for the tail. Uh, once again, just like the actual heads, you're gonna just have ball joint after ball joint all inside here, so. I mean, this is a lot of ball joints I'm counting. So maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen ball joints just on one tail. So I mean, that's pretty damn cool, and you can definitely pose it around however you want. Um, have it just like stay in the air, or if you want to kind of like wrap it around a little bit, or you know, <laughs> knock it off. Uh, you know, whatever you really want to do, these ball joints aren't going to be the best. I think just the overall unit itself, the ball joints aren't really that impressive in comparison to some of the other uh, SH Monster Arts um, figures I actually have, especially like my Godzilla 2014. I have like no issues with that whatsoever. Uh, but with this, you know, it's just these ball joints are not super tight. They're not, they're not that great in my opinion. So in terms of accessories, you're just getting the stands. Uh, very unfortunate, this is a pretty beefy unit and very costly, so why not just include a couple of effect parts? I mean, it doesn't have to be like top notch craziness, just a little bit of, a, of like lightning bolts coming out the mouth. I think that would have been pretty damn cool, but we are gonna have to resort to the Tamashi effects parts and they do run close to around like $20, uh, maybe even $25 depending on where you live but you can use those lightning effect parts and recreate some nice little scenes with uh, Godzilla. Now for comparison, here he is next to the 2014 SH Monster Arts Godzilla. The SH Monster Arts Shin Godzilla. Best goddamn Godzilla, I don't care what anyone says. And the RX-78-2 Gundam. So you can definitely tell he is just completely dominating the entire area uh, just with his sheer size and wingspan alone. 
uh, not a bad thing whatsoever, but hey, you know, if that's kind of like what you want, awesome. If you're limited on sh uh, shelf space, then I'm gonna feel bad for you. So what else can I say about King Ghidorah? Well, there's nothing else. It's amazing, it's beautiful. The head sculpts are fantastic. Uh, the overall just level of like presentation it has it's just astounding. Uh, the price point, I think, is around retail, that is. I think it's around $150. I didn't really see the price tag on the box, uh, but yeah, it's it's going for around like $150 retail, but that's only if you're going to like an actual shop that's like in Japan. Otherwise, I feel bad for all my other people outside Japan. You're probably paying close to around $300. I know the original uh, SH Monsters King Ghidorah is going upwards to about $500, which is crazy because this is actually bigger than the uh, original King Ghidorah SH Monsters figure. But you know what? It kind of is what it is. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I personally found it really early on here in Japan uh, for about $130 over at Yamada Dinky. So I became a little bit lucky and I picked it up. I'm um, hoping I can have that same luck when finding Mothra because I don't have a Mothra in my collection at all and I really do like the 2019 Mothra to be honest. This thing is especially going to look really good with you know 2014 or 2019 Godzilla in your collection. It just really adds to the overall aesthetic and I, I do feel like you need to have these rivals together. You can't just have King Ghidorah just chilling by itself. You gotta throw in a Godzilla just duking it out with them. That's just, that's gonna bring a whole new level of amazement to your overall collection. Uh, but yeah, there's not really too much else I could say. The pros, pros are definitely just presentation, sculpting, level of detail. That's all fantastic size. But the cons, you know, I mean, I have a lot of loose parts on this kit. Um, the wings are just not, they're not clipping in at all. They just kind of slide onto the actual, um, it's like a hexagon kind of like peg. And that's it. It just slides in. You, it, it is not really firm at all. It's fairly loose, so you're gonna have to do a little extra work to it. Uh, the stands aren't really that great. It doesn't hold it up that well. I, I think they could have done a, a better job. And there's also no stand to allow it to just like fly fr uh, freely. I don't even know how you would make it fly freely uh, with the wings as they are. You're gonna have to, you know, definitely glue them on, but I'm not really wanting to come permanently glue them, but I'll just kind of like reinforce the actual like, you know, holes so that way uh, there's a lot more friction involved. Um, really, other than that, hey, it's a great looking figure and I'm pretty happy to have it on my shelf. Uh, should you buy it? That, uh, it's really going to be depending on how much you can find it for. Because if you're finding it anywhere, I would say anywhere more than 250 it's really up to you. Uh, you know, I, I personally, if I was, if I was uh, not fortunate enough to pick it up, at, you know, at the cheap price I did pick it up for, uh, probably no more than 250 I would have bought it for. But that's just me, so hopefully you guys um, definitely find it for a little bit cheaper and add this beautiful figure to your collection. Uh, maybe check out some websites and hopefully they come out with some good deals or you can find it you know, with a third party individual that just wants to get it out of their collection for whatever reason. Uh, but that's pretty much about it guys, so definitely thank you for watching. I know this is my first SH Monster Arts figure review. I would like to do more in the future. Um, haven't really committed on which ones I would like to get, especially since this line is, is just... Borderline, every single thing is uh, the same price point as a perfect grade Gundam. So uh, I would say don't expect me to b uh, buy and review too many of these. I only have about five. Yeah, no, six. I have six SH Monster Arts in my collection. So um, I think to the average collector, I'm, I'm not really nowhere near them. But yeah, I still think they look all pretty cool. But that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you for watching. And like always, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the figure in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next review. Bye-bye.